All right, so we are making spinach noodle kugel, super traditional. We know everyone on Joy of Kosher, like they search for, what's our top things? Cholent, kugel, kugel. challah. You filled the fish. And we like try to be so fancy, like my last book has like none of that stuff in it, but, and people do appreciate that, but they want the kugels too. Yeah. Just like my husband. So I married almost actually over seven years, never made this, and he's like, please, I always had it growing up, please make it for me, so it's like fine. We're doing it. So this is your traditional spinach noodle kugel. Okay, so we start with the Klusky egg noodles. Any egg noodles are fine. What's I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. <laughs> I, so when I can't find this klusky, do you know Hadassah? The no clue. Like, uh, the thick, the thick, the, the, you mean the, like, like the thickness thin, or yeah. thin? No, because I've got an, also another brand, it's called Klusky Noodles, and it was like much thicker than this. Oh. So this is a different brand, like I'm using Manischewitz right now. This is thinner than the one I used last week. But this is what okay. Hubby found, and so this is what we're using. Boiling water, pasta, right? Right, yes. In. Do you okay. salt the water? I do salt the water. Yeah, I always do. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Hadassah, can you hit 10 on our timer? Yeah, you want to be stirring that frequently, so we'll try to remember to come back to that. Okay? Perfection. You've done this before? <laughs> I use spinach all the time. Well, then. Do you use the fresh or do you use the frozen no, too? Yeah. yeah. I love, I actually love fresh baby spinach. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I give it a quick, Let's right, like that. I'm, it doesn't need to be, just a quick, just to get out like the ice chips. And then done, and then give, like, you know, squeeze yeah. it so good. So how do you squeeze it at home? Well, usually I, um, if I do have it, it's like microwaved, and I right. put it in a towel, and I squeeze the towel. Right, fine. And then I feel like you lose, I feel like you also lose. I used to use the towel, and I feel like you lose on the towel, so I just, like, squeeze here with my hands. Sometimes I'll do it if I do it in the towel. Don't you find, like, it's it stuck, like, it sticks to the towel? Don't squeeze no. while we're talking. Okay, fine. Yeah. Tomorrow you'll work on our three beaten eggs. Okay. Let me get you a thing for that. Check. Do that and our margarine. So, okay, so look, you're very proud of me. Do you use Earth Balance at home? Yes. Okay, that's like the best. I, find, I love it more than Smart Balance. Oh, it's much better. Than Smart yeah, Balance. yeah. And it's good for like cooking and making totally 100%. I actually love it on even more than butter. And, I mean, I don't like margarine at all, but like on toast. Oh, the sticks? Yeah. Oh, I need yeah. a tub for the Earth Balance on the tub. Too. Yeah, either way. I mean, whatever I have. I you know? it's easier to spread, I think. Yeah, so. I mean, I don't mind the sticks. I do it. Okay, so we need two ounces, so it's about half a stick. So let's go here, boom. We're gonna throw this into the microwave. We wanna wait till our, oh, our noodles. I'm gonna give you a stir noodles. How much longer we got on these? Five minutes. Oh, how the time flies. I mean, so we got that ready to go in the microwave just to melt that. And you need a cup of soy milk. Okay, so but the recipe, this is like one of those traditional recipes not tra oh, traditional, whatever. It's like one of those staple ones that like everyone uses. It actually calls for coffee rich. Coffee rich, yes. And under a cream or so, you'll be very proud of me. I'm using soy milk. And I like that this is like the perfect, this little container is the perfect measurement for this amount yeah, of. Yeah, that's one cup? Yeah. 30 if you're going to freeze it. Right. You have your baking dish ready? Yeah. You it see it? It says that you should melt the butter in the baking dish. I know, so I don't, I don't believe in that. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I'm saying I just do it a little bit easier. Um, and a spinach kugel, but just spinach with mushrooms is a yes. compliment. But the noodle, yeah, I don't think the texture well. that yeah. matches at all. Me too. Okay, good. We're in agreement. Did we get that on camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. We get these guys out of here. Yeah, so we're going to put them right in here. We want to drain them great tomorrow. I'm going to get the uh, margarine in the microwave for 30 seconds and then throw them in with the. Um, Spinach. spinach, yeah. Okay. You don't need to like run cold water over them because we're gonna about to throw them right into the oven. Okay. So we have our earth balance that's been melted, so that goes right in. We're gonna put that in. I'll throw in the soy milk. It's fun when you're cooking with someone. <laughs> Why is this so, bowl so far from us? Okay, then we'll start mixing that up together. We've got our beaten egg and break it up. I use my hands at home. If you wash your hands, you can use your hands in my house also. Okay, fine. That's a good point. <laughs> I would just put my hands in it, it would be burned, and I'd be like, ah, 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 ah. Okay. But we might need it for this. Yeah, good. Yeah, actually, I don't want to put it in so hot. Yeah, get, like, cool it off just for a second. Just for our egg. Okay, good, 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 good. And then keep mixing quickly. Perfect. Okay, now here is the seasoning. Now, honestly, sometimes you just have to do stuff. My husband really 
really wants it the way that his stepmother made it. He loves it. It calls for a quarter cup of onion soup mix. But that like hurts me inside when I put it in. So we have a few options for the people that also know the feeling. And then there are people that are just like, who cares, bring it on. OK, so who cares, bring it on a quarter cup. But Adasa, what did we find for like substitute? So if you want to substitute, you can use eight teaspoons of dried onion flakes, one and a half teaspoons of dried parsley, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of celery seed, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. Mm, that's, a, that's a lot of stuff that's going in there. But it's fine. Yeah, we'll we can post that. A, we can, yeah, we can make a big batch of it. And, and we'll like stay forever. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's like a spice. Right. right. It's okay. I'll put like the end of it. Crush it down. But yes, yeah, so if you make that, you can keep it, and then it's like your own homemade MSG-free onion soup mix, yeah. right? That's going in. Yeah. Good. Yep. So like good enough. Okay. So we get into our nine by thirteen. So we're getting this going. Pouring it in. This has a nice little pour spatter like that. I mean helpful, uh, more helpful when you liquid things, but get all that good spinach, right? Iron, what does it have in it? Iron, calcium. Calcium, vitamin K. Mm. What is vitamin K for? Blood clotting. Oh, that's probably good for me though now. I mean, I don't have per se the problem, but yeah, right, don't they everybody. say? Yeah, everybody needs actually vitamin K. You'll see it is in the, um, a lot of mm. calcium also have vitamin K. I love, um, Calcium is really important. I love just when it's like so green. Like I love eating like full colored vegetables. Yeah. You know, like green, red, orange. Like I hate yeah. that iceberg lettuce when it's like white. Yeah. I'm like what am I doing here? It's such a waste. Although I do like cucumbers and they're not so. That's true. Particularly. Someone's still getting things are mostly made from water. Right, celery. That's another one. Okay, so good. So. That's nice. Did we miss anything? Nope. Uh, the mushrooms. Oh, right, so some people put mushrooms in, but tomorrow and I totally agree that on a spinach noodle kugel, that consistency just does, does not work. Oh, no. Yeah, and hubby doesn't like mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Hubby doesn't like mushrooms, but right, but not in this. 350, 45 minutes? 45 minutes, 45 minutes. uncovered. 350, preheated oven. See you in 45. So we're 45 minutes into this thing. Uh, even though Hadassah didn't set the timer correctly. So we love it. Look at this. Nice oh, and brown. Nice. Does that look good? Yes. I love it a little crunchy on the top. I'll even leave it in a little longer even. I oh, love it well done. so good. Okay, awesome. And I didn't pay you guys, right? It's nice. Nice and spinachy. So we're going to cut this up. I, I want to take a bite. So you guys will share a bite with me, right? So I serve my kugel. I like to serve it in square sometimes on a pretty platter or sometimes could serve it right out of this thing, you know? Yeah. This is my cooking it, serving it, storing it. And then cooking it again, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we get it from the bottom up. It's steamy. If we let it cool a little bit longer, it would be slightly easier to just pull off. I love this, just well done. Oh, Got so your crunchy. It's mix. good. It's good. Okay. I would totally make this dairy and add cheese if I wasn't making it for Cheese shopping. and noodles? Yeah. Yeah, cheese would be good. Yeah. Okay, so spinach noodle kugel. This is your traditional quintessential classic. So where do we get this recipe, ladies? Joyofkosher.com. Joyofkosher.com. Enjoy.